about four years ago, um, I was asked by a client to help his team or his leadership team in New York understand what does an organizational culture look like and that was that got me thinking because what I think is an organizational culture, cu culture versus someone else is very different and that's exactly what I found is when I asked what someone understood to be culture um, and what that looked like in their business um, I got different answers everywhere I went so what um, I did uh, with some of my colleagues at Ubicom was to do some research uh, and we looked at all sorts of global studies related to what do the very best businesses do and what does that look like related to the culture of their business. And what came out of that were three big global studies that we used. One was from Gallup, one was from McGinsey and one was from Bain. Those two, those, the latter two are big US consultancy firms that looked at the very best companies uh, of their clients that is and looked at what they did differently from everyone else and what came from that that bit of research that I did fit, uh, three four years ago was actually six key things we call them pillars and so what, I, what I'll do is I'll explain to you what each of those pillars are and what that looks like and what good looks like effectively. The fifth pillar is probably one of the hardest ones and if, if from all the clients that I work with this is the bit they really struggle with which is outstanding communication. You'd think it's quite simple um, because basically outstanding communication means from the top down and then also to have a channel whereby the bottom, dare I say at the lowest or most, most junior individuals in the business can feel that they can communicate quite clearly up the chain of command. And then also the hardest bit of all, which is from side to side, which is department to department, division to division, office to office, um, that bit really can be very challenging. And um, every company I go to, whenever we measure uh, how people perceive communication, um, it's always perceived to be it could be a lot better. Very few businesses score maximum in, or very or near maximum in that area. Um, and that goes from the external communications, dare I say it, from board down. Um, so emails or whatever it is. Um, emails sometimes are the, la the lazy option when it comes to uh, communication and so that's a real focus for, for us as an organization to help companies to say look what are the alternatives to email communication because it's lazy it doesn't work very often and it doesn't get the message across so what are the different alternatives and, and, and so there are lots of different solutions to that all different for each business but that is a real key area to, to focus on so if you'd like to find out more about how you're performing in this particular pillar uh, the details are coming up afterwards and we'll, we'll love to get in touch with you